Hey guys, and welcome to episode 4. Now as you can see, it's very murky here in Brussels, uh, from the um, previous uh, episode, which was when we travelled from London to Brussels. So, in this particular episode, we're now going to actually get a trailer and do a job, let's say. So, what we're going to do is we're going to, of course, power on the uh, truck, release the parking brake, and off we go. Checking the mirrors, and this time I have um, now got the wipers switched on. So put them on constant, I think. There we go. So now we can actually see what we're doing. Let's so go check the mirrors, and I'm going to signal to the right. So yeah, this episode we're going to be, you know, traveling probably somewhere to a different country uh, in the European Union, shall we say, and uh, see what we can find. There might be a uh, an opportunity to travel to Germany, which would be uh, quite nice, so we're going to have to figure out anyway. Now, I do know that uh, with this particular um, city, traffic lights are not um, not very as easy to see, let's say, so that's why I'm going to be very careful, because sometimes with these lights, they automatically change to green without even going to amber, so we need to be extremely careful now. And yeah, I know that... Um, in the UK we've had a lot of uh, bad weather, so I'm going to just uh, accelerate a little bit hard there. There we go. But I managed to, uh, you know, not go through a red light, so that's a good thing. So we need to turn left into this little area here called uh, FCB, or FCP. Checking the mirrors. And I'll just wait for this uh, van to go past. There we go. And in we go. Okay, so now we're going to pull in right there, and let's have a look and see what we have in terms of jobs. Uh, Brussels to Plymouth. Okay, we'll take that one. So it seems like we're going back to the UK. So, yeah, okay, and we're delivering tractors. So it's going to be a nice little trek, actually, through, uh, you know, the West Coast. So here is our load. And it'll cost us £26,000. Well, we're going to get £26,000 if we keep this, you know, in sync. Now here comes my main challenge. Actually trying to load this without having the cameras behind me. So here we go. Keep it nice and straight. Looking in both mirrors and going at about 2 miles per hour. Right, there we go. Coupling. And off we go. So how much is that then? That's uh, 11 tonnes. So not too bad actually, but we need to be very careful because of the fact that, well, we've got some tractors uh, behind us. And we must, uh, you know, keep it nice and smooth. There we go. It can be a little bit tricky, especially if you are, you know, going through a very tight tunnel, let's say, or a very tight bridge. So, yeah. Okay, so we're going to check our mirrors, and we're going to signal right, and then we're going to leave Brussels and head back into the Channel Tunnel. So, as you can see, it's quite busy uh, this morning. There we go. There we go. Now hopefully those lights don't change to red instantly, because sometimes they do uh, if you're in, the, let's say, the uh, European Union, but thankfully they haven't, so that's really, really good. Now of course this is where I kind of have a bit of drag, which slows me down. Um, if you are familiar with, let's say, car uh, jargon. Nice little smooth brake there. And uh, hopefully the rain will stop when we arrive into uh, the UK. So 
but at least I can have a bit more accuracy because now I have some drag. I kind of have this uh, feeling that, you know, obviously the uh, trailer is determining the speed, let's say, of my truck. So check in the mirrors and I'm going to signal left. And it seems like we're going back the way we came. Now I need to open up a little bit. There we go. Open up the bend a little bit because of the fact that I've got tractors behind me. And there we go. So now we can go uphill. The speed limit is going up to around 50 miles an hour. So I'm going to uh, accelerate towards that, hopefully. And we've got 429 miles, which is going to change when we arrive at the Channel Tunnel. So be sure to stay tuned for that. There we go, we are now crossing over the, uh, the bridge, and we should be entering France as well. There we are, we're coming up to a turning now. So checking the mirrors, there might be someone behind me, so I'm going to turn uh, right even though I can't really see in uh, my right mirror because of the uh, things in the way. Oh well. Okay, and the rain's stopping, actually, which is a surprise. So let's just see how long it will uh, take until uh, the rain actually stops because it is still spitting. There we go. So there we go, it's stopped and uh, all the water is going to be drying up soon, so we can now continue our journey without having to use the uh, wipers. So the speed limit is going up to 60 miles per hour, as we uh, looked at earlier on. And, uh, yeah. Nice little smooth turning there. Even though I'm going over the speed limit, so I need to just brake a little bit. There we go. And I think I'll put cruise control on. Because sometimes I can't really trust myself manually driving a truck if I'm going at this speed. Okay, there's a truck in front of us, so I'm going to just brake, 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 brake. There we go. Keep a nice little distance behind him. I wonder what he's carrying. Probably, uh... A load that has to be, you know, covered with, um, you know, a roof, a trailer roof. <laughs> now, I believe this load is quite fragile, so I'm going to have to be extremely careful when I arrive at the, uh, the port. Doing a little bit of tailgating there. Not very pleasant, but uh, obviously I'm still maintaining, you know, my distance, you know, between the uh, or the gap between myself and the car in front, or the vehicle in front. And it's starting to get really busy. There's loads of cars going past right there. And oh, he's uh, turning into the uh, the right lane there. Now, I am allowed to travel in this lane because it's a dual carriageway. But if it was um, a triple lane, then I would have to turn in to the middle lane. Now, what we'll do is to be strategic. I'm going to check my mirrors, signal to the right, and there's a car that's just slowing down behind me, which is actually good because uh, he's given me some room to actually move. And we're coming towards Lil. Okay, coming 
to a junction now, so I need to just slow down a bit. And we now need to turn right. And that truck is turning left. So I'm just going to keep my distance uh, behind him. Because of the fact that, well, I can go past him, but uh, I'm not going to at this moment in time because of how close I am. I could be hugging the barrier at this rate, but no, I'm not. Checking the mirrors regularly. Check the blind spot, and it's safe to join. Now what we'll do is I'll turn on my uh, left mirrors, right there, so I can actually see up the left mirror, so I can see what's going on. And there's a car coming on my uh, left side. Now, I remember doing this in episode one, so, um, yeah, I must remember to, because uh, I can't have um, my mirror, my left mirror, close to me. Whereas I would have done if this truck wasn't designed this way, but, uh, oh well. If I have truck IR, then it'll make a lot more sense to actually have, um, you know, my head to actually you know determine where the mirrors are so yeah <laughs> I'm gonna be using uh, the inbuilt mirrors in the game just for now but hopefully in the future when I get a track IR uh, set I'll be able to actually you know use my um, let's say head to actually you know look in both mirrors so yeah we're making good time here we're actually you know cruising really really well about 50 miles an hour. <laughs> Going up to 60 now. And I will put cruise control on again because uh, there's no one in front of me. Well, as of yet. Uh, but there might be uh, in the next couple of minutes. So I am now going to put cruise control on as soon as that reaches 60. Now. There we go. That's the national speed limit. And I think we've entered Paris. Sorry, not Paris. I keep saying Paris. <laughs> France. Um, we're now entering France. So... We can see that it's nice and clear. And at some point, yes, I might have to do a video of me travelling to Paris. Because I keep saying Paris quite a lot. <laughs> so I'll probably do that uh, maybe in the next video. Who knows? Okay, so as you can see now we're coming towards a bend and uh, it seems to be quite smooth today. Not many cars about, or trucks, well, in the uh, adjacent lane, but uh, we are, you know, going nice and smoothly. Cruise control is just maintaining, you know, the speed accordingly, which is good. Coming up to the A16 again, as we saw earlier on when we, uh, you know, travelled the other direction to Brussels. Now the reason why my wheel is really quiet is because I'm actually using a Logitech GT racing wheel. Uh, for those of you who haven't seen episode 1... Uh, I did mention that I do have a Logitech GT racing wheel, so that's why, as you can see, I'm not using the keyboard. I'm actually using some pretty tight, well, pretty tiny maneuvers. And that's because I'm using my wheel. I'm just maintaining, you know, the road ahead, or well, maintaining my uh, direction of the road ahead. I'm just going to brake now because of the fact that, well, we are coming up to uh, a very tight bend. But, uh,. That was uh, quite smooth, so that was really good. And it seems like my cruise control is still maintaining 60. I don't know why. I mean, if I. Because I did uh, apply the brake, but I can't see why it didn't turn off. Because technically, it should turn off when you um, put the brake on and when you have cruise control enabled. 
Okay, so now we're going to be turning right, so I'm going to just brake, 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 brake. There we go, I think that's uh, cruise control turned off now. Because as you can see, we're coming up to the channel tunnel, so we need to be very careful. So mirrors, someone behind me, so we're going to signal left, right here. And uh, this should take us the quickest route, as it usually does. There's another truck in front of us, going in. Checking the mirrors. Ooh, almost hit that uh, barrier right there, so we've got to be very careful. There we go. So now we need to brake. Brake, 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 brake. And there's our little queue right there, so we can go in here. As you can see, the drag is pushing me down, so I need to just brake a little bit. There we go. And here we go. Just give myself plenty of room to join the uh, the line. And there we go. So, we're going to travel to... Oh, Folkestone. Okay. Twenty six thousand four hundred and eighty one, it said there. Okay, so now we're going to leave the uh the train. Gotta be very careful here. Go quite slow, there we go. Yep, made it, so now we can accelerate up to thirty. Do apologise for a little bit of lag. I think it's because we weren't succinct properly with the uh, graphics in the UK. But we're back in the UK now, so... There we go. Maintaining 40. And uh, now we need to make sure that we are in the left lane this time. So checking the mirrors. As you can see, the uh, the roads are a bit similar to the ones that we saw when we went to uh, France or Calais. It's so going to stop dead when we approach the uh, crossing here. So this drive on the left, and it has it in different languages right there. <coughs> so here we are, we're now back in the UK. So we're now going to head towards Southampton, so we need to turn right here on the A259. And we can maintain 60. We don't need any fuel, so that's why we're skipping this fuel station. But uh, if we were quite low on fuel, then we'd have to go in. We've got plenty of fuel, and we've been very strategic with our, you know, fuel consumption. 
because I haven't been like you know pressing my foot down as you can hear the truck now accelerating quite hard Control on. So we were near Dover. Oh, interesting. So we are cruising quite nicely around this corner, and uh, we're coming up to the uh, the A road, I think. That's a uh, well, we're coming up to a dual carriageway now, so I need to make sure that I am in the correct lane. And there we go, checking the mirrors regularly, because there's no one behind. Because I'm going quite fast, I'm going at 60 miles an hour, which is the top limit. Now. I do know that uh, when I was doing my driving, like my real life driving, because I have been having, I think, one or two lessons, um, I know that when it comes to, you know, speed limits, they're not targets, they're just, you know, limits. Like, you don't have to get up to that particular, you know, speed. Just make sure that you are within that speed, let's say. Or under that speed let's say but not too under so you can't go let's say too fast or too slow otherwise you'd cause an accident so that's why uh, I've got to keep it nice in the middle and crisp now this is quite nice we'll go across the south coast well the south part and the speed limit is going to 50 50 miles an hour because I think that's due to a tunnel coming up so I need to slow down to 50 cruise control on and relax now these tunnels do remind me of when I was in Italy and they are very spectacular and quite bright as well <laughs> didn't expect it to be really bright but well well you know There is a car uh, vehicle in front, so I need to be very careful. <laughs> so I'm going to brake, 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 brake. As you can see, it's got some speed uh, warnings there. <laughs> and we're coming up to Southampton, which is very well known for its dock. Uh, or docks actually, where you have cruise ships that go, let's say, to the Mediterranean. And if you like the beaches, then I'd highly recommend Bournemouth. Or even better, Torquay. <laughs> So we are going quite smoothly. Let's check our damage counter. There's no damage apart from, um, I think, a few hitches across the uh, roundabouts there. Whoa! That was quite close. I thought it was going to, you know, break very hard all of a sudden. But nope, we're doing okay. going on the A27 now, which takes us into Southampton, and then eventually it will lead us into uh, Plymouth. <laughs> I'm 
it's probably going to be the longest uh, journey. Well, not really the longest. I mean, I have travelled from Aberdeen to Bratislava, and that's really long. So I might do a stream on that if uh, you guys like the videos that I'm publishing. But let me know in the comments as well if you want to, uh, you know, have that um, that video uh, uploaded to YT. got some windmills, or actually no, we've got some uh, wind turbines, not windmills, <laughs> turbines, and uh, we're coming on to the M27, now we are in the correct lane, so that's very good, and we are in between the hard shoulder and the overtaking lane, and we will shortly be arriving into Southampton, but we're going to be going past there because we're going to go even souther than uh, Southampton, we'll be carrying on our westerly you know, trek to Plymouth. So we are in the middle lane at this moment in time, which is still good, and hopefully it doesn't turn. Oof, there we go. And Plymouth is in the far right lane, so when we go a few more miles, uh, that will change over to the middle lane, then to the left lane, and then we turn off. Which is how motorways work in the UK. So as you can see there, Plymouth is now in the middle lane, so we are in the correct lane. Now depending on how, well depending on how uh, big the traffic is, I will uh, determine that I'll be moving into the left lane uh, in just a few moments, but uh, let's just find out what's going on. Okay, so we've got lots of traffic going to London, and they're going towards the M2. So we're still on the M27 going all the way down this little hill right here. Cruise control is, I believe, hopefully maintaining our speed a little bit. But we are getting a bit more, you know, excess speed. A little bit of a swerve there, but uh, it's okay because there's no traffic uh, at the side of me. If there was, I would cause a crash and uh, that wouldn't be very good. So we're still in the middle lane. That's just a service station right there. I like how the truck just coasts and then the engine starts kicking in again. <laughs> it's quite funny to see. So we've got 128 miles to go. And it seems like that we're going to be on this road for quite some time. Kind my left mirror there, so I'm going to just keep an eye on him for a little bit. But I'm going faster than him, so uh, he's going to have to accelerate pretty hard. Oh, where is he going? Is he going in the middle lane, or what's he doing? I have no idea. So as you can see now, the uh, roads are starting to uh, shrink a little bit. So we've got two lanes now instead of three. And we're on the A35. I saw a speed limit there of 50, so I'm going to just slow down. 
maintain 40. Depending on what speed I have, uh, you know, trouble that. Okay, we've got a little bit of a hitch there on the uh, trailer, but don't worry. We'll still get, you know, a good delivery. I think it's because of the fact that that car there was slightly too close to us. Because with lorries, they should, you know, well, because with cars, they should really give way to, you know, lorries and stuff because they're carrying heavy loads. Okay, now, now the uh, road's starting to go even smaller, so I'm going to move into the uh, right, the, the, the right lane, and uh, left lane is now gone, so we're now on a single carriageway, and the speed limit is going up to 60 miles an hour. Now, as we're saying about getting a little bit of damage, let's say, as you can see there, um, you don't really notice it until you like hit a corner. This is why it's a bit tricky, really, if you're um, you know, traveling into the sun, let's say, and you can't really see uh, the road ahead of you. Well, you can't see the cars in front of you uh, very clearly because of how you know because of how low the uh, the light is. So I'm going to have to just guess. Right there we go. Well, I can just about see the uh, traffic in front of me, so I now need to coast. Brake, 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 brake. As you can see, everyone else is braking, so I'm going to have to do the same thing. Probably going to need to move to the side there. As you can see, we've got some um, police cars there. Dealing with an incident. miles to go till we arrive in uh, Plymouth. It's probably going to be an hour long, this video. But we will see. Two hours to go. So yeah, quite quickly, it has gone down from morning to dusk, so, <laughs> or dawn to dusk, I should say. Um, but I think we kind of, you know, were stationary uh, off camera for a little bit, and then we continued on our journey. At around lunchtime, so, uh, to be fair, it has been, you know, really good about six hours. I mean, considering that we've had to travel through Channel Tunnel, Channel Tunnel, um, it's, you know, pretty accurate. There's a car overtaking the uh, lorry again, which means I need to brake, and he decided to, you know, do that at a unconvenient time. Oh, he's doing it again now. Watch what happens now. Oh, he's now overtaking it. Right, okay. <laughs> really weird, that. It's not very... Uh, it's not very easy to do that, really. Especially if you've got to, you know, look over your, you know, look over the side, let's say, to see if there's any any room. Okay, we can't overtake now because we have double white lines. We've got just over an hour and a half till we arrive in Plymouth, and I'm accelerating, you know, pretty, you know, hard there because of the fact that well because the drag is slowing me down, so I need to accelerate quite hard. And then we're going to turn in somewhere, I think. Well, no, we're not going to turn in yet. We're going to just go around this bend. And uh, just continue to uh, chuck along, shall we say. It feels like we're in Wales now. Well, I mean... Considering that this is the southwest, 
Uh, we're about an hour away from somewhere in the south end of Wales. Maybe even two hours, I don't know. But what I do know is we are maintaining a good speed. So, that's always a nice thing to uh, say, really. The damage might be coming from, let's say, the, uh, the slopes. But, uh, oh well. And wow, what an amazing scene. Well, scene right there. Going across the coast now. This is probably the... Uh, well, I know that this road may take us to Land's End, but uh, that might be for another few miles, actually. Well, probably another 100 miles, let's say, to get to Land's End. But it feels like we're approaching Land's End. <laughs> right in the south coast or southwest coast of the UK so yeah and uh, I know that there's lots of people who do, who have done um, cycling from Land's End to John O'Groats and back again so that was quite a uh, interesting uh, let's say activity to see And uh, we're not far now to... Uh, oops, forgot to put the indicator on there. Uh, we are now 48 miles away to Plymouth. You can see we've got signs there for Plymouth. And we've got Cardiff and Birmingham. And the car's right there, so we need to now check the mirrors. Signal left. As we're now going on to the wards... The next uh, motorway, I think. And we haven't got far to go until we arrive in Plymouth. So, which motorway is this? The M5. We are in the correct lane, or in the, uh, let's say, the strategic lane. So we are Plymouth, and we need to now turn in a little bit here, because I didn't realise that the, uh, the road was blocked. But I made it in good time, so that's really good. Going up to 60 now, so I'm going to put cruise control on. Some lovely sunflowers right there. Quite a lot, actually. And I think soon I will need to put the headlights on. But let's just figure out what's going on here. Car overtaking me. A little bit of a swerve right here. And we're not far now, 24, 25 miles away. Till we arrive in Plymouth. And then the tricky part will actually be parking up this thing. Because I did forget <laughs> for a second there that um, we have a load, so. Got to be extremely careful when we approach the uh, town. Coming up to um, another service station, and I believe this is where we actually uh, turn off in a bit. Just going to uh, just check my uh, clearance there. That's good. Got lots of trucks in there getting fuel, and we're coming up to uh, our conclusion of the uh, M5, I think. Because Plymouth is in the very southwest, so yeah, bit of traffic now. So I need to just brake, 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 brake. Had to brake a little bit hard there because I didn't realise how hard the uh, 
car in front was braking. And there is road work, so I'm going to maintain 30, because it says there on the left-hand side there that we need to cruise at 30 miles per hour with cruise control enabled. There we go. 30. So we need to put our headlights on now because everyone else has done that. And I can see Plymouth in the sat nav, so we are getting extremely close now. Here we go. Break, 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 break. Oh, that's a little bit too close. Hopefully the cars uh, behind me broke. Stupid this, really, because the AI cars sometimes, you know, they just don't think about, let's say, what's behind them. As well as in front of them, let's say. At least we've got the police cars to help the uh, traffic go through. Here we are, we've made it to Plymouth. So we've got a nice little turning to the left here, and uh, we should be good to go. Right, so let's accelerate a little bit there. And we have to wait now for the lights to actually, you know, do whatever they need to do, and uh, hopefully just get into Plymouth on time, which I think we are doing actually. So let's have a look. Yep, we're on time. With 13 hours. <laughs> 13 hours to spare. That is insane. Really, but we kind of did a, an ASAP kind of trob, uh, job. So, yeah, job. <laughs> Funny. Checking the mirrors regularly to make sure that uh, there's no cars coming up too close behind us. Now, where's this police car going? Is he going to the left or is he going to the right? That's the question. Which route is he taking? Oh, he's going left. Okay, and here is our destination. I can see the uh, indication right there, so I need to brake and then turn in. And here we are. So, let's now find out where our parking spot is. I believe it's somewhere here. Let's have a look. Might have to go and do a 360 round here and see uh, where there are lovely parking slots. Or well, in fact, we have to. Oh yeah, we have to um, say we'd like to park this. We're not going to skip ahead. So here we are. Right. So we're going to do. Where do you need it? Which gives us a bit more experience. So there we go. So now we need to find the flagged area on the map. Do a 360 round here. There we are. There's our spot. And it's slightly close to the uh, trailers there. It's going to be my first attempt as if 
I was doing this for real. Which made me I need the cameras, so let me get the cameras out. There we go. So here we go. So I need to make sure that I go all the way to the uh side there, and I do have my beacons on, which I didn't even realise were there. Well, actually, no, they were on the, uh, the truck. So, we're going nice and smoothly. Just taking our time. That's it. Using the mirrors to help as well. There we go. Okay, now I need to level out. So, here we go. Let's just level out again. Takes a bit of... Takes a few goes and then eventually you do get it, so... Yeah. Right. Let's do it again. To the uh, to the right there. There we go. A bit too much to the right there, I think. Yeah, a bit too much to the right. So let's go around here. Now that looks a little bit better. So let's have a look and see where we are. Okay. Right. Little bit to the left, actually. Not too much to the left. There we go. There we go. We're getting there. And then we stop. There we go. Let's see what the damage is, <laughs> as they say. Excellent. Ah, oh, well done. Well done, Spidey. And we didn't have any damage whatsoever, even though on the um, the dash, or on the uh, sat-nav dash, we could see that there was a little bit of damage. But, well, there we go. We've done it. So that's £26,481 in the bank. So once again, guys, thanks so much for watching this extremely uh, long video. Well, I'd say about an hour's long. Uh, but anyway, yeah, we'll see you in part five. Peace out, guys.